Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Lewis Media True and welcome to Atomic Society. Because uh, let me tell you two things that I really like in this world, which is I like town builders, you've probably noticed that before, and I like the post-apocalyptic setting for games. You've probably noticed that even more so. So uh, I'm always rather delighted to welcome a post-apocalyptic town building game. Oh yes, 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 yes. Not least as the last post-apocalyptic town building game I played was Frostpunk, and Frostpunk was excellent. But before we get going, as it says on screen, early version, not feature complete, work in progress, diddly diddly d. And the setup really does genuinely sound like Fallout but a town building game. So yeah, we were one of the people in the vault. The radiation level on the surface has started to drop away. And I've said, hey, what if we just went up and rebuilt society? And everyone else was like, I don't know. We could do that, or we could stay down in the vault forever. So, me and a handful of engineers are going to go up to the surface and just sort of do it ourselves. Marvellous. And obviously, if any of those filthy surface dwellers ask my name, I'll simply say I am the Overseer, because why the bloody hell not, eh? The random age button says I'm 39, I'm happy with that, and uh, belief system. I don't even know what that does, but... Ooh, atomic cultist. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And finally, you have to actually choose a map you want to try and survive on, which, yeah, looks suspiciously like picking a planet. In Stellaris, you know, you've got yourself your jungle or your ocean, your continental, your alpine up here, your deserty worlds. Yes, it's all very weirdly stellaris -y. Oh, go on, it's a Fallout Town builder. I could hardly resist the map that's actually called Wasteland. So, welcome to the Wasteland, where, yeah, first things first, need to figure out where to settle. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, John, next to that big thing of water. No, in this game, you don't really do so much of settling next to water, because, like, all of the still water or lakes are supposed to be, like, acid rain or something, so that's a bad idea. You get all your water from, like, wells and stuff that you actually build yourself, so you don't need to worry about that sort of business. You can basically just go wherever you want. The more interesting bit is, yeah, being close by to a whole bunch of buildings. Now... Game, take me over to... Yes, here we are. So, I've got myself a me. That's me right flipping there. I am the Overseer. I've also brought myself a handful of engineers. All these other people are just random stragglers and survivors from the surface who have decided to come and work with me for a total population of 50 for the time being. So I need to figure out, yeah, which of these kind of ruins I'm going to convert into my starting building. So, there are actually a good number of buildings up here. We got ourselves, yeah, good building here, good building here, whole bunch of lampposts to be converted into masonry and metal. Trees, weirdly, can't be converted into lumber. We haven't figured that one out. If you want lumber, you've just got to kind of ransack a building that's got wooden elements. So, yeah, more, more, more over there. Okay. This is all looking promising, actually. Yeah, there's loads of ruins around here. Okay. How about this building up here? This looks nice and fancy. So if this is going to be our new home, then what we need to do is convert it into something useful. And your first building needs to be a storehouse. A storehouse is basically going to be the core of absolutely everything. So I'm going to help build that myself. We're going to get time ticking along there. So my overseer is going to basically start wandering in that direction. My engineers are going to go and help out as well. But yeah, everyone else just kind of walks everywhere. I'm the overseer because I'm the only one who's got any get up and flipping go. And as the game is warning me here, these handful of engineers I brought with me will help with building. These civilians, who are just, you know, random wastelanders, they won't do anything until I specifically actually assign them jobs. They're kind of useless. Anyway, as we need to get up and get on, you just work your way up here, get time moving along six times faster, and begin the construction. The thing is, you're playing as the overseer, and what you can do is basically... Anything, anything you put your hand to, you will be better than any engineer, any civilian. So it's partly about building your town, but it's also about managing the overseer. The overseer can only be doing one thing at a time, which is why there's a special overseer camera. So at any time you want to, you can just tap spacebar and then you immediately jump to you, the overseer. So right now I am building this and my engineers would not be building it this fast. Every single individual person, you can click on them, learn about them, you know, whether their beliefs match up with yours, which might affect whether they like you or not, what they've got in their inventory, if anything, what their personal needs are, their little kind of biography, which is kind of cool. You can see, like, what their job was before the bombs fell, and physical quirks, and mental quirks, and I'm not sure whether those actually have any form of effect, and ooh, we've got a settlement. Oh, bloody hell. Wait, hang on. How many new, new news do we need in front of Johnson at this point? 
I think I'm up to seven, if I recall correctly. Yes, I believe that's correct. So welcome to new, 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 Johnson. There we flipping go. Well done game for not having a character limit. So this storehouse is going to be the center of our society. This is where we're going to keep absolutely flipping everything. Lumber, metal, masonry, yeah, water that we get out of the well, water that we get off like our evaporators, fruit and veg and butchered meat and anything we can salvage because some food we're going to be growing ourselves, some food we're going to be just kind of getting out of nearby ruins and what have you, together with, yeah, salvage medicine, advanced components we get into that. But for the time being, we're probably going to be wanting to at some point build, you know, more things. Like, you know, a well. A well will be an excellent thing because... I mean, we've got ourselves a couple of meters down the bottom left. Water, you know, naturally goes down faster than food. People need to drink regularly. And I'm not sure whether the fact we're in a desert means that's going to be even more of a thing. So we probably need to get scavenging. So let's just say, yeah, probably a good starting point would be actually a really good starting point would be, hang on, where's what I want here? Yes, a scavenger's hut. Because then other people will start scavenging. For now, literally only the overseer will scavenge because no one else has been given a job. So, just hit spacebar for the overseer, and then send the overseer over here to begin scavenging this here lamppost. So, overseer, now just heads in that direction and starts scavenging as best as she can. Beautiful. In fact, actually, I think the Overseer just started off with, yeah, two of everything just to get you started there, which is kind of good. Overseer's inventory is now full. Well, that's fine. We simply tell her, go back to the nearest storehouse. This is why storehouses are important. Everyone, when they're actually harvesting something, needs to bring it back to the storehouse. And then when anyone needs anything, they need to go to the storehouse. So, for now, one storehouse will be fine. We're going to need more than that sooner or later. So, uh, that scavenger's hut. Beautiful. Plenty of that. So, uh, I think we can put that, you know, right in the middle of town. That's kind of cool. We'll have a scavenger's hut right next to, uh, yeah, right next to the actual storehouse. It feels kind of, you know, central and important and stuff. So, we can have that right here. Beautiful. So, once again, the actual overseer can probably get working on that. My engineers are going to go straight there as well, but the overseer is going to get there first and begin construction. So, scavenger hunt has been completed. We now need to actually, you know, get some people working there. This simple means no one works here right now. Employment works very much like Frostpunk in many ways. In fact, yeah, there are actually quite a few similarities, which I consider a good thing. Say workers need to be employed there, and workers that do not have a job will immediately automatically just kind of jump to it, which is absolutely flipping marvellous. We're up to 48 people in our society. I swear we had 50. What happened to the other two? They're probably dead, you know. Yeah, there we go. Somebody died of old age, but that's fine. He was 84, and it's the post-apocalypse. I feel like that's a good run, quite frankly. So five people have been assigned a job here, and what they will now do is they'll just scavenge everything nearby, like these lampposts, that house over there, this house over here. For the time being, yeah, the best thing I can probably do as the overseer is actually just focus on scavenging myself. So yes, just scavenge here. So I could convert this into another useful building, but... Buildings are also very, very useful sources of just random scavenge, which will probably be very, very useful in terms of just, you know, building the beginnings of a town. I also want the Overseer to go scavenging, because when the Overseer scavengers, they have a chance of picking up special items. Of particular importance is, yeah, things like backpacks, because right now my Overseer can only carry 15 items. I would like my Overseer to be able to carry a lot more than that, but the Overseer has found, yeah, Basic beginning weapon, some medicine, bit of metal, fair bit of lumber. Okay, not bad as a starting point, tiny bit of food as well. So the inventory is currently full, that's absolutely fine. All we need to do is go over to the storehouse and say, hey, please attempt to deposit all resources into the storehouse. Lovely. So obviously we'll just run over and do that. And by clicking on the scavenger set, we can also see what the people who are working there are doing. So they right now are just delivering various bits and pieces. Now, if I want them to focus on one thing rather than another, I can tell them to do that. So the overseer is about to dump a whole bunch of stuff right over here. There we go. The overseer just dumped 11 lumber. So what do we need more of? We need more metal. I would therefore like my scavenging team to focus exclusively on gathering as much metal as possible as quickly as possible. And with the actual priority for metal set, if I actually focus, say, on this thing over here, which has got a combination of metal and masonry, the overseer will only harvest metal for the time being because there's a scavenger focus enabled. 
So, biggest projects of the minute, obviously food and drink need to be sorted out first. You know, things like housing and health and entertainment will become important over time, but for the moment, everyone would just like, you know, the ability to have a drink and whatnot. So, probably, we want to get that sorted out immediately. So, yeah, we can dig a well, or we can, like, have, like, a evaporated dew collection system of some description. Now the fun thing about these is they produce a certain amount of resource over time. So for example, yeah, the evaporated dew collection thingy only produces a bunch of water once every 12 days. Once every 12 days it will produce 10 batches of water. The water well will only produce 3 batches of water, but can do it every 4 days. So, yeah, we probably want one water well down immediately, and let's actually have that right in the center of the town. Get working on that as quickly as possible, please. Uh, just so, yeah, there's going to be some water available as soon as possible. But after that, we probably want to set up some of those, like, evaporator thingies over on the hills. Just so we've actually got, you know, more water coming in a lot more quickly. And also, some people are starting to die and starting to smell. Now, corpses, you know, laid out in the middle of nowhere are going to start causing problems with disease, obviously. But I can't deal with that just yet. In fact... I quite like this, by the way. One of the tips the game offers you, if your town is covered in corpses in its first year or so, this is normal. <laughs> so, the game, you know, tries to set expectations. A lot of people are going to die in the first year. But let's just set up a bit more water infrastructure very, very close by. For the time being, yeah, right now my engineers are jumping to that, and some people need to be assigned to actually work at the well, otherwise it won't actually do anything. So, we've got ourselves a little bit of water coming in, and more water coming in as well. So, water should be fine for the time being, for a population of only 45. We're also going to be needing a little bit of, yep, yeah, food. So, a greenhouse or a livestock ranch. Basically the same idea. Greenhouses produce a bit of food on a fairly regular basis. Livestock ranches take a lot longer to produce food, but produce a lot more. So how about we have, which side of town should be... This side of town is nice and flat. I feel like actually having, yeah, a bunch of greenhouses and other food production over here. So we're going to have some of that over there. My engineers are building the little kind of water infrastructure. Let's start building the actual overseer. Overseer. Where are you going, Overseer? It's okay, the Overseer figured it out, so we're now putting in a little bit of food infrastructure as well. We got ourselves, yep, a bit more water coming in, so that's going to produce water over time. You can keep an eye on how it's doing in terms of production. So, when that hits 100%, a bunch of water will be produced, be taken to the storehouse, and then whenever anyone gets super thirsty, they go to the storehouse and get a drink. Which is absolutely flipping marvellous. So we've got plenty of metal right now. Let's change the focus over to, yes, lumber. Let's get some lumber. And if fact, actually, let's just take every priority off so everyone just starts scavenging everything roughly equally. And some people start working on food. So next up, you know what? Let's just get the overseer to continue scavenging. Because the overseer is scavenging houses. Hopefully, if we get lucky, you'll pick up a backpack so you can scavenge a lot more effectively. And there we flipping go, mid-sized backpack, so I'm up to 20, so as a result I can actually do a tiny bit more scavenging here. I've got an extra 5 carry capacity, beautiful. So the overseer now goes and drops that off there. How are we doing in terms of food and water? Yeah, there we go, so I've got two well water already there and one salvage bottled water that the overseer just dropped off. So there is now some water available, which is lovely. The corpses are, they're starting to pile up a little bit. It must be said, okay, this might not be necessarily a priority, like, right this second, but maybe I want to start getting rid of those. That does seem like a good idea. So how about we just set up a nice little building, do a little bit of cremation. I'd say we probably want to do that, like, you know, out of the way, but then again, if it's out of the way, hmm, that means people have to walk further to get to it. Okay, I'll put it a little bit back over here. A little bit back over here. No one wants, you know, the cremation place to be too close to, like, you know, the food supply or what have you. Now, there's more buildings dotted around here. I'm going to send my, yeah, my leader can go down in that direction. Let her get on with that. She can just go and scavenge that building. And I think we've got more people. Yes, we have more people arriving. Because people are dying, but more people are arriving. And storehouses are full. My inventory's full, I didn't get anything special there, that's absolutely fine. Head back over here, drop it off, we'll hopefully get lucky. Ah, okay, storehouse full. Yes, that thing you just said, John. Well, that's absolutely fine. If we're having storeroom problems already, how about we invest in 
a really, really big storehouse right the flip now. I mean, that strikes me as a really good idea. Like, right at the beginning of society, just have a nice big storehouse ready to flip and go. And we can have that over here, and it sort of, you know, blocks the view of, you know, where we take all the corpses. So that's good as well. There we go. Cremations are now ready to go. So, uh, four people now work there. They can start picking up these corpses because, you know, it's not making a good first impression on the people who are arriving in our society because, you know, everything else is just blasted wasteland and we've started actually, you know, building something. I'm not really sure what, you know, the deal is with the Overseer. The Overseer seems to be some form of superhuman because she can just build buildings at superhuman speeds next to everybody else, which is, you know, quite welcome. So we've got ourselves, yes, here we go. They've started picking up bodies, taking them over there, burning them to ash, reducing the risk of plague. Everything's flipping lovely. And now we have got, oh yeah, 200 and flipping 60 storage capacity. That is absolutely flipping loads. Now with all that extra storage capacity, I'm actually going to slap down one, an extra scavenger hut that could be right next to the first one. But I would also like to get down, yeah, our first livestock ranch. Yeah, actually, this is a nice big flat open area. This could be where we keep all our livestock over here. Yeah, that's quite nice. So this could be like, you know, the livestocky plains over here where we just keep them on like pasture or something close to pasture. Just to show you the build rates here, my overseer alone is building this building. Every single one of the engineers, you know, trained Voltec engineers, they're working together on this building. Look how fast that's going up versus how fast this one's going up. I didn't start these at the same time, by the way. This one started a lot later, but just look at how fast the percentages are going up. Overseers are insanely good at everything. So, another five people now working as scavengers, which will hopefully help out with... Guys... We could do with scavenging some lumber. We're really shy on lumber right now. So if someone wants to get on with that, that'd be marvellous. So yeah, right now everyone's going to focus on lumber. The engineers come over here to help me with the ranch. That's going to start providing some big old piles of food. And yeah, you may notice all the yellow bars going down. Everyone starts nice and happy, but that doesn't necessarily last. And it also is going down because all of the people that are arriving into society, they actually start off with very low bars. They're very unhappy, they're thirsty, they're dying, they're sick and whatever. The people you start off with are generally very happy. So uh, as those people start dying off and new people start arriving, uh, yeah, the bars just naturally are going to fall because you get more and more severe problems. And there are a lot of corpses. Come on, guys, hurry it up. Okay, next big priority. It's probably time to turn these here bunch of survivors into an actual town. And for that, we're going to need a lot more information about them. And in particular, yeah, a town hall. Oh, and we've also received a lovely sinister warning from a bunch of slaves who have had their eyelids removed, which is an excellent sign. So, um, yeah, apparently they are the voice of the true ruler. And after three years, or if I happen to hit 200 people in my town, he's going to come and... Uh, take an interest in me. So that's going to be fun. Now, obviously, the town hall, which is going to be, you know, where I basically look over the town, that needs to be on top of a hill. So I want that to be, oh yeah, right about that's right. I want everybody from anywhere in the town to look up and see my mighty, mighty palace of doom. That's what I want. Now, we also need a bunch of food over here as well. So, you just begin working on that. Hang on, I just need to check the effect here. Just check the effect. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Wherever you are in town, one, there's corpses, but we're going to try and sort that out over time. But two, the town hall. That's good. Oh, hang on. I feel like we could do better, though. We could do better than that. Yes, a giant statue of me. That's the stuff right there. Now, a few people need to work here as, well, not actually like, you know, administrative people or anything. They're officially working as uh, enforcers, is what they do. Basically, this isn't just a town hall. This is also like the police. So I run this place and uh, the particular thing we've got going on this game is... Uh, I need to try and figure out what to do regarding the law. I can shape the society any way I want. So anything that's marked in red there with an exclamation point is an issue my town actually faces. Because it's an issue we actually face, that means I'm allowed to actually try and resolve it. So, uh, murder, slavery, citizens are forcing the unemployed to act as their servants. 
and some citizens have started treating animal life as if it's sacred, they're refusing to work at the ranch or eat meat. So, you know, if I decided that we need to take a position on vegetarianism, like, you know, for example, all vegetarians need to be executed to try and set an example and dissuade people from this deviant belief because bacon is delicious, we could do that, but that's probably a bad idea. Now, here's an interesting one. Cannibalism. Some people have developed a taste for human flesh, We've caught them eating corpses, they say it's a service, removing corpses and feeding themselves, but it's causing distress in our workers. So, uh, I could execute any cannibals, but... Just in theory, if I were to encourage this, as long as they're just eating corpses, I mean, there are a lot of corpses. So if I want society to either tolerate or encourage something, I need to build an information station so everyone knows about it. So yeah, right in the middle of like the town square I'm constructing here, that seems like a good spot for that sort of thing. So let's get on with building that. And while you're building that, these here greenhouses need some people working in them. Beautiful. And the other advantage of a town hall is it gives you a bunch of information. So I'm down to, ah, I'm down to three engineers. One of the engineers I brought out of the vault has already died which is unfortunate. And then keep an eye on, yeah, basic needs and how many people right now need water or need food. So a lot of people are a bit hungry. That's fine. We've just actually staffed those new greenhouses. That'll presumably help out with all of that business. How many people are unemployed at any given time? How many people are homeless? So yeah, right now I haven't built any housing whatsoever. How many people are dying of plague? How many people are dying of diarrhea? So you, know, you can figure out if there's major problems in your society and how to deal with them. And here's where things get a little bit more interesting. So this building over here has condition. Well, everything has condition, actually. So yeah, this place is decaying and will soon collapse. Now, I could send the Overseer over to repair it, but then, of course, the Overseer can't be building anything else, going and scavenging. So the Overseer needs to be doing, like, you know, 17 different things at once. So you've got to figure out what you're going to delegate to the citizens who don't do it as well, and what you're going to micromanage. But, you know, you've got a lot of freedom in deciding how you're going to do it. If you want to, you can just say, I don't need any citizens to focus on repairing. I'll do that myself. But I find that a little bit, you know, micro-intensive. Let's actually get ourselves built a repair shack. That would do the job very, very nicely indeed. Probably want that pretty central, all things considered. Uh, yeah, somewhere around here would do. Obviously, it goes and builds that. My engineers will probably keep working on this, though. When I say my engineers, my engineers are also dying off. So at some point, I'm going to need a building to convert citizens into new engineers. In fact, where the heck are my... Where are my engineers? Where are my builders right now? Oh, they're working on the giant statue of me. That's acceptable. Carry on. So, Repair Hut now has people, they're going to go and automatically repair the scavengers hut, so for the time being, I don't need to worry about that. Meanwhile, you get on with finishing off that tower you were already working on. There's the information station, beautiful, so we can start officially just quietly tolerating things, or actually, you know, deciding to actively promote them. And I would say yes, in order to solve this, you know, terrible corpse problem, one, a few people working there, so, over here, cannibalism shall now be actively encouraged. Hooray for cannibalism! Now, of course, a side effect of that is, you know, it's, it's possible that other people who are cannibals will hear about Cannibal Town and decide, hey, cannibalism's allowed there. We'll go there. Well, that's going to be fine, because the game did say, year one, your town will be full of corpses. Cannibals eat corpses, job flipping done. So yes, this shall be encouraged. Hooray for cannibalism! And that house we've been scavenging, that house has officially now run out of supplies. So having run out of anything useful we can do with it, we may as well actually now convert it into something a bit more useful. So that is now worth housing for 10 citizens, which is lovely. And yeah, if you click on housing, it tells you what proportion of your population has a place to actually rest. So right now, yeah, I've got about 88 people in my society. We've actually got ourselves 10 citizens accounted for in terms of housing. So that's only 11%. So I need to build some more housing. Fun thing though, if you actually fully scavenge a ruin, and that's like, you know, you've torn out the wood and you've torn out some of the masonry, it costs resources to convert it. If I take a building that's barely been touched, it's actually much easier to convert into something useful. This is actually just a playground, so that's not a good example. This is a better example. So I can convert this building that's barely been touched into uh, whatever I want to. A home, or a new storehouse, or a guardhouse that's actually, you know, going to help in terms of defense whenever, you know, the true leader, that guy who we were 
Lord of Ad shows up, that might be quite useful. And because right now it's full of supplies, we can actually convert it for free. Which is kind of cool. So if we were to scavenge it, then obviously that would not be the case. Though speaking of which, we should probably just, you know, scavenge it. So I'm just going to send my leader over there to take care of that. She'll take care of that by herself. Marvellous. How's the number of corpses doing? Still a bit high, to be honest. Food's also a little bit on the low side. I'm going to get a... Uh... A second ranch down if we can. Yes, there we go. About... Come on. There we go. Spot on. And yeah, the game's also just flagging what my overseers found. Oh. Hang on. Wait. No, we don't... We don't just need lumber anymore. We need anything, please. There we go. I've turned that off. So now my overseer is just finding literally whatever the hell they feel like. Beautiful. So now she can head home. Okay, game. Tell me how people are dying right now. They're dying of plague. Because dead bodies are causing plague. Right, the cannibals are not doing their work fast enough. We need to step up the corpse disposal mechanism. So, yeah, let's actually get ourselves a second uh, cremation place up on the hill over there. And once we're done with that, we probably want, yeah, health's looking a bit on the dicey side. Though, actually, entertainment's very low. And that's below the threshold where the Grim Reaper's line is. So, I'm guessing that's going to cause, yeah, stress, depression, maybe even suicide. So... Uh, Probably, we want a bit of entertainment in town. How about a tavern? That'd be good. Let's give everyone a nice place to get a drink. That'll do. Now, more first aid as well. A latrine will stop people dying of diarrhea. So, let's just slap one of those down in the middle of town. In the middle of town? Maybe a bit set back, actually. Maybe it would make sense for a latrine to be, you know, a little bit back and out of the way. So, we'll have a latrine over there, too. And if we can afford it, yes, a first aid tent. That would be very, very welcome. That could be right next door to the pub in case anyone, you know, slightly overindulges. Some people need to work here. Beautiful. So my town starts to take shape. And yeah, I like this. We're going to have a, a nice town square. So, you know, the scavenging huts and the storehouses. This is done so people can work there. Just check on the number of unemployed for the time being. 28 unemployed, so plenty of new buildings can be created without having to worry about, yeah, there not being people to actually fulfill those jobs. We're up to a population of 94, many of whom are going to be cannibals drawn to this town with the promise of, you know, plenty of cannibalism to go around. So, I mean, I wish they'd bloody hurry up. There's corpses everywhere. Right, overseer going over to help out with cremation shack number two because we could really do with corpses. There we go. Hopefully, between, yeah, the actual first aid over here, bit of medicine, and double cremation over here, that will actually deal with the plague of corpses, including, oh, there's some just dotted around the outskirts of town, dear oh flippin' dear. Uh, right, overseer, you head over in that direction, go have a look-see in that playground, see if you can find anything special. Let's have a look-see around, because, yeah, special buildings are can yield special things. So, uh, over here, for example, we've got ourselves, yeah, a crashed plane. Might be able to get some batteries out of there. Salvage clothing. And what have we got? Large hiking backpack. Nice, up to 25. Spot flipping on. Okay, for the time being, the food situation seems well under control. Water could be better. Let's actually get a bit more water down because, of course, yeah, the actual amount of people in the town is... Uh, going up. So having, you know, an excess of water just in case does not seem like a bad idea. So how about three of those collectors at the back and then just a couple of actual water wells in town itself. We could have another one. There's a lot of corpses. What are you guys doing? I've given you so much capacity to deal with these corpses. Here we go. Huge amounts of water infrastructure coming in there. Obviously, the overseer's working on this one, not on this one, because why not? You guys work over here, then you go help out with this one, get that one done. Right, so, we should be absolutely swimming in water, quite literally. We could actually set up a swimming pool after all this is done, and that'll be flipping marvellous. Oh yeah, diarrhea is on the up, plague is on the up. We need to sort out this problem with corpses sooner rather than later. So, the problem probably is, ah... It's positioning. Okay. I think I see what the issue we've got here is. This place needs to be, yeah, demolished. Demolish this building. Overseer, go and scavenge, please. We need another cremation spot over here. Ah, I see what we got. It's just because of positioning. It's just they're in the wrong place. 
And in just a few days' time, the new collectors will actually deliver their first big load of water. And once they all empty out, oh yeah, we should just be swimming in the stuff. What's the situation right now with water? Well, water is, yeah, there's a bit. There's no water we've collected from the collectors, but yeah, a bunch of it should be showing up momentarily. There's a load of fruit and veg, but there's no meat. Hmm. That does make me have a think. How about we encourage vegetarianism as well as cannibalism? It's part of a balanced diet. Wait, hang on. People who are cannibals probably aren't going to be vegetarians as well, are they? No. No, cannibals are pretty fundamentally meat eaters. Right, it's more of an either or thing in that case. Like, either you're a cannibal or you're a vegetarian. Oh, those two groups are not going to get on well. Well, actually, 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 actually... If the issue with, like, vegetarianism and veganism is it's not fair to, like, you know, take an animal's life because it can't consent to it and etc, etc, etc. Well, humans are the one animal that could give consent to be eaten. And if the cannibals are only eating corpses who died anyway... Right, so, new cremation spot, now over here, because this side of town seems to be mostly clear of corpses. This side of town, small problems in the town square, I'll admit. And we should probably just, like, you know, block the view of this thing with a new building of some description. Entertainment. Yeah, some more entertainment. How about we have ourselves a theatre? Yes, a theatre would be amazing. And as for my overseer... She should probably focus on scavenging. Ah, we've got new migrants with encouraged issues, so the vegetarian cannibals should be on their way. So, obviously getting on with generic looting, which is marvellous. Found a whole bunch of general useful stuff. Get back over here. Marvellous. Now, problem. Healthcare and housing. Probably, as diarrhea actually causes death, we should just get some latrines dotted around town. So I think we've got the first of the latrines already, but... Yeah, each latrine covering 25 people. So we need to get three more of them down, ideally. Honestly, that seems quite frankly manageable. I'm not sure whether you need to, like, spread them out for the effect to be maybe not close by. Yeah, maybe away from the water production facilities. But if there's one over there, we have another one. No, the theatre. That's going to be... Okay, we don't want them near the theatre. Ooh, okay, near the greenhouses is fine. Because, like, you know, it can be, like, fertiliser or whatever. Okay, so, one, two, three, and four latrines currently going down, which is marvellous. That should provide a really good health boost to society and stop diarrhoea being such a major problem that's affecting us negatively. Population is currently just under 90, so a fair few people are dying. How are we getting on here? Returning with a body, going to collect a body. The number of corpses is... it's still weirdly high. Plague, diarrhea. Okay, when the diarrhea deaths start going down, we should be in good shape. Now, I probably need to start thinking about, you know, hope. Because the problem right now is hope is at 0%. Because what people want to hope is that they will live to an old age and die in, like, a retirement community or whatever. It's a very specific goal that literally everyone shares. So, what I probably want to do is... Uh, set up, hang on, where is it? An elder's end. So, oh, bloody hell, the storehouses are full. Okay, this is fine. Now, the Elder's End, we want to put, yeah, in a slightly elevated position on the edge of town. So everyone can see it. So, yeah, when everyone's in town, they look up and they can see uh, the Elder's End. There's bloody health just people dropping dead everywhere. They can just see, you know, my mighty palace of justice and or vengeance and the Elder's End over there. Spot on. Now, if we're actually swimming in resources right now, oh, we really are. Right, in that case... We need to just slap down some housing. Let's just get some housing down. And this over here can be the housing district. Nice. With scenic views over cows. Mainly just cows. Yes. So basic shack for 15 people. Or a tenement. Which, yeah, provides more rest for, again, 15 people. Ooh, a luxury tower. Bit on the expensive side in terms of everything. But, oh, yeah, ridiculously so. Right. How about tenements? Just tenements, that's 15 people a go, 70 rest, luxury houses, that's 15 people for 100, and actually it's barely any more. Yeah, okay, luxury tower we can't do, but luxury house, wait, hang on, 40, so hang on, that's, luxury house is 15 people a go, so 9, 9 and 9 would do 45 people 100 rest, but that's, that's only 40 people, 
But for, well, I guess it's more, you know, space saving, but... Okay, I feel like we can probably do with building a couple of really nice houses. This over here is going to be where people live. Oh, but then... I don't know the fact it's a bit down, to be honest. I'm not keen on that, but... Okay, you know what? I'm going to build some luxury houses, all right? Everyone is going to have a really, really nice set of houses. There's going to be a really nice row of them. Now, while they're going up, and yeah, that will significantly sort out housing problems, uh, I need to improve town morale. Because if I just build a few decorations, uh, like statues and artwork, people who pass by them on their way to work or while they're doing their job get a bit of a boost. So because I've kind of built everything around this town square, lots of people pass through this spot right here. So, yeah, building some artwork and some rusty statues and whatever, that strikes me as a good idea. And actually, a lot of people head in this direction to scavenge, and also the watery people, and yeah, you know what, we'll put ourselves... Uh, I'll put one decorative shrub here, and then we'll also put down one... A burning torch. Yes, we'll put down a burning torch right here. Lovely. So, someone will just build those at some point, but yeah, getting housing up and running as a starting point is much more important. A bunch of people can work here. What's the situation with unemployment right now? 17 people unemployed. Not so bad. Let's have a look, see what we've got here. So, first aid tent, 100 with medicine. Ah, with medicine. I need to actually have medicine. I need a chemist to convert plant into... Oh, hang on. What am I lacking? I'm lacking metal. Right. How did we end up in that situation? Guys, gather metal as a priority, please. Just get on with it. You know what? I'm going to do that myself. Head down over. Is there going to be metal here? Yeah, there's going to be metal here. Right, so I'm just going to send the overseer down to that house to just grab some metal. We need it in a hurry. But I am also concerned about the risk of, uh, yeah, raiders coming and paying attention to us. Because we've got this lovely big hilltop place right now. It is kind of cool. It's very pretty. And, yeah, there we go. So, obviously, my leader is focusing on metal as far as she can because I've told her to focus on that. So, she's going to bring a whole bunch of metal back. Lovely. And that is just enough for us to get down a chemist. Let's get down a chemist right now. Where are you going to squeeze in? You can just fit there and... Ooh. Okay, Overseer can now actually repair faster. Spot on. And slap down a bit more housing at the back here as well. We've got this lovely housing street. This will do the job. A couple of basic tenements would be welcome as well. Once all this is done, we should have plenty of flipping housing to go around to. Yeah, though I also need you. Yeah, get over there. Because we've got, I think, no. We've got no fruit and veg. Oh. I may have slightly over-encouraged vegetarianism. Right, we need um, more plants. Because plants get converted to medicine as well as food. And we're having problems with storage again. So I'm going to build another storehouse over here. So anyone who gets hungry or thirsty this side of the town doesn't have to walk so far to get a drink. Because there'll be some water stored over here. And I think we need, yeah, a proper hospital. Let's put, oh, that's massive. That's beautiful and massive. Can we put that, like, somewhere, somewhere prominent? Somewhere, actually, there's a really good space right here. Oh, yeah, there's a really nice space for it right here. Other side of town from the other, actually, kind of close by. I think that's the one right there. But, yeah, right here. That's nice. Now there's a big old hospital and more actual stuff coming in there. How are we doing on unemployment? 38, so that's fine. Plenty of people can actually work in this here hospital momentarily. We need to find jobs for these people. Oh, scavengers. I can just have more scavenging huts. We need work for them. Sure, why not? Oh, a builder's yard. So people can actually act as engineers to help with the building. Yes. Let's have that uh, on the outskirts of town. That will do as well. So anyone who works here will build just the same as my own engineers, who are thankfully mostly still alive because, oh, this has gone marvellously well. Okay, hospital. Done. Full up. That should help out with health and... Uh, hello, citizens have started raising families. Alright, apparently just like, I don't know, no one was having sex because, like, there wasn't a hospital or something. That's very responsible of you all. Well done. Okay, death rates are very, very nice and low right now. Lots of people are unhappy because, yeah, they are culture critics because, ah, it'll be people who are religious and thus aren't interested in my theatre or my pub. They want a church. 46 unemployed right now, though. I need to find some jobs for them to do. Probably they're better off, yeah, just one, we can get some more food infrastructure down. And beyond that, 
probably some more scavenging. We just get more supplies in more quickly if we just actually scavenge more. And speaking of which, hello Builders Yard. Five people can now actually function as builders. Which should mean, hopefully, a whole bunch of people are going to jump in to getting on with... Okay, where am I? There they are. Right, they're all coming over here, lovely. Here we go. Let's just have another line of greenhouses right over there. Because, yes, migrants with encouraged issues, vegetarianism and or cannibalism is one of those things we're encouraging. And, oh yeah, this hospital was totally flipping needed. It's already pretty much at capacity. So, already six out of six people are being treated there. I assume the same as at the first aid tent. Yes. Okay, hang on. Let's have a look-see here. Oh, diarrhea is just... Oh, of course. The population's going up, but the number of latrines hasn't. Right, we need more toilets. Now, we could do with some metal. That's certainly true. So, uh, you know what? Just for fun, we do have this plane over here. I'm going to send, yeah, my leader all the way over to have a little look-see at that plane. See what she might find that's kind of... Uh, Interesting. and Oh, violent raiders. Right. Okay. Um, violent raiders, that's a concern. Because right now the amount of defense our incredibly prosperous society has is literally none. So, okay, guys, change of plans. Number one, we need metal. Metal in an absolute flipping hurry. So, what produces metal? This produces metal. Right, leader, go and salvage that right now. Because I need to get down weaponsmiths and guard towers. And right now, I don't have the metal for any of that. Luckily, the overseer is helping herself to a whole bunch of salvage metal off that there lamppost. That is good. And yeah, my salvage team should also be focusing overwhelmingly on all of that. We've got plenty of butchered meat in for the time being. No fruit and veg. No matter how many flipping greenhouses we've got, it does rather seem that we never have enough fruit and veg. But then again, all of these should actually, yeah, their first harvest should be at similar times. So, uh, that is good news at least. So, guard towers require three salvage metal. There we go, up to 30, spot on. Weaponsmiths, five. Fine, we need a couple of weaponsmiths down right the hell now. Oh, and there we go. Food is plentiful. Plenty of harvest just came in to the actual houses there. Now, start employing people. At the weaponsmiths. Now they need metal to convert into weaponry. So someone needs to go grab two metal and then convert that into a weapon. Are you guys friendly? You guys better be friendly because we are not ready for raiders yet. Now guard towers. We can afford to put some of these down. Yeah, probably. One in each corner, I'd say. So one over there. One over here. One can be like, yeah, close by to the town hall. One over by, can we just squeeze it in? Just over here. I'd like to squeeze it in without like interrupting the nice street we've got going on here. No, it might need to be on the outskirts of town, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, actually right over here. It'll kind of look into that guy's bedroom, but that is the price you pay for security, I guess. Oh yeah, other problem. They did warn us when we hit 200. Uh-oh. So satisfy our needs and our two communities will live in peace. Refuse, we will attack you when you least expect it. Your choice. Okay. What do we have here? So I'm the boss around here and I set the laws. Change one of your immoral decisions. Your current choice sickens me. Am I about to go to war to try and defend my right to actively promote cannibalism? No, that is genuinely what they want. They've actually come here to basically say that they are sickened by our active promotion of cannibalism and they need us to change it. Not like ban it or punish cannibals in any way. All they want us to do is quietly tolerate cannibalism and stop actively promoting it from our giant speak system in the centre of town. Oh, that's amazing. These are not raiders. These are the good guys. I am the raider town. No. I'm sorry, cannibalism is in the very DNA of this town. Screw you, we will resist. Are you sure? Not in the slightest, but I'm going to say yes anyway. The raiders will come and teach you a lesson for refusing. Right, so, we need to, um, get on with this business, like, if flipping immediately. We need defences. Many defences. How many weapons do we actually possess, by the way? We've got one salvaged weapon... One homemade weapon. 
That's it. Okay, we've got two weapons. Great. Well, let's just start employing some workers here. Yes, marvellous. I think what we might need is more weaponsmiths. Yeah, we need more. Oh, we don't have enough metal. We don't have enough metal. Right, okay. This is, this is fine. Right, um, go and help build the fourth tower over there. You go and do that. We do at least have, you know, properly secured watchtowers. That's, that's fine. Let's actually start converting everything into garrison ruins. Everything gets converted at this point. Any building we convert into, yeah, stuff we can actually use to defend ourselves. Oh, we've got a... This looks nice. Doesn't it look nice? I think that looks really flipping nice. I like it when you properly lay it out with, like, you know, a proper town square and streets and districts. I approve. Right, how quickly are we producing weapons right now? Pretty quickly, actually. Pretty quickly, yes. So, how many weapons are we up to? We're up to... Okay, none. Oh, none because they've already been taken to the towers. I like how it works, by the way, how, you know, they have to go from their place of work to grab the metal from the workshop to take it back there, and then once it's been made, it's taken back to the actual storage, and then someone from the guard tower has to come to pick up the weapon and diddly diddly d. Okay, none out of four weapons. One out of four weapons. Uh, three out of four weapons. Okay, so if they come from this angle, there is at least, you know, some type of protection going on there. Expect raiders to attack any day now. Uh-oh. Well, that's that's no good at all. Do we, like, know where they're coming from? Will we see them coming? I don't know whether we'll see them coming. Leaves inventory is full. Good. That's actually good news. So, go and dump that metal. And... Right. They're not actually on the map. Gotcha. So, it just basically is an event that you get told about based on your defensive... Ranking. Okay, this was attack one of two. After the final attack, the raids will give you a little while to rethink your attitude, then return to make a new deal. No, screw those guys! Screw them! It's fine! This is... Oh. Oh dear. Right, okay. Um, how about we just go and take care of, uh, take care of our many, many damaged buildings? That's, that's all absolutely fine. Um... We might need a new... You know what? You guys can just stop doing that, actually. Oh, they're stuck doing that for a while. Okay. I think we need a new repair hut, actually. Except I literally don't have the... Why don't I have the metal? Oh, is it because I haven't actually dropped it off yet? Yes, go and drop off the actual metal. Then we can actually have new repairers. That will be fine. Now we... There we go. Now, now work on that. Near collapse. Yes. Now that you can work on that, that's all absolutely fine. Now I can actually get down a new repair shack as well. Right, just move from place to place, getting them stabilized. Because a bunch of places are down to like 10%, but we can just... We can get them out of the danger zone without fully repairing them. Okay? That'll be enough to stop the town literally falling over. So then we just move over... Here, what percentage is that? Yeah, these are down to like 10%. So the repair crews need to like get in like as soon as flipping possible, please. Uh, I'm just basically performing emergency maintenance just to stop them actively falling over. That's good enough. That's flipping good enough. Keep it going. Oh, the raiders are almost back already and we're not done with repairs yet. Okay, it's fine. Everything's under control. Oh, we need more people. Yes. Four more people. You guys, all get working on repairs, please. Everybody get flipping working on repairs. Repair these houses, too. Actually, no, repair the nice houses first. They're more important. Okay, you see that? That was much better. Look at that. That was way, way better. Only two citizens killed. One building was destroyed. Only three were damaged. We defended most of them because we had the weapons. Okay. You see? That worked pretty well. Oh, it was one of the nice houses. Right, quickly just go and repair the other buildings. I tell you what, we will show those raiders. I'm going to replace that luxury house with a luxury tower. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping, yeah. You think you can stop us, raiders? No, 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 no. We will rebuild. We will rebuild much, much better. It's just going to be a thing of beauty. We're going to have this. Oh, yeah. Nice hilltop view. That is flipping lovely right there. Oh, gorgeous. And it's still protected by this here tower, so it's absolutely fine. They've got three out of four weapons. Uh, one out of four, so minimum protection there. Okay, everything's still kind of falling over a little bit, but I should have the repair teams out and about to sort this out at this point. 
I think I've saved the town. And more importantly, we did not have to compromise our principles, alright? Our most ancient and noble belief in the sacred art of eating our dead, because, like, otherwise the dead just, like, you know, get in the way and stink up the streets. We are still allowed to eat flesh. I have protected our most sacred duty. Enough fighting, let us stop the violence and be friends. Isn't that what adults do? No. No, no, no. Adults eat other adults, okay? That is what my society is about. You cannot stop me from eating other people. What do you want to do right now? So if I agree, what are you guys actually going to insist upon? Right, now they're going to attack me unless I stop actively promoting vegetarianism. They're going to insist that I simply tolerate vegetarianism and stop- This is weird. <laughs> I kind of love that this is a thing. It's beautiful. No! I refuse to stop promoting vegetarianism at the same time as promoting cannibalism. Screw you! Now, I can't help but notice we do have a bit of a water shortage going on here. We definitely have a water shortage. We need to sort that out. Yeah, that's quite important. Okay, let's just quickly get some more water down here as well. Just another bundle of these guys should do the job, to be honest. Now, are we actually fully protected at this point? Four out of four weapons. Four out of four weapons... Uh, Four out of four weapons. Four out of four weapons. Nice. And we should have spare weapons here as well. Yep, we got ourselves multiple homemade weapons right here. Honestly, we're probably good to just leave be at this point. But then if we have some spares, then if the town expands, we can actually expand that as well. Right, you know what this calls for? A new law. Okay, so murder. Unlike cannibalism and vegetarianism, murder's not cool. So we need to do something about that. I feel like, yeah, execution, not necessarily the right way to go. But a nice long stint in prison. That strikes me as the right way to go. We're going to need a prison for that. Fine, we'll build a prison. Yeah, right on the outskirts of town. Marvellous. Now, the raiders are expected to attack any day now. Last time they came in, they basically didn't do anything to me. We just saw them off with barely any damage. And now I've got more repair crews ready, more weapons ready to go. We should be in excellent shape. Oh, my goodness. Absolute total defense. Yeah, screw you, raiders. You shall never interfere with our right to eat vegetables and or people. Ah, but apparently we're out of unemployed people. Yep, literally one unemployed person. Dear, oh flippin' dear, I need to actually uh, free up some people to uh, work inside the, oh yeah, the water thing. At the absolute bare minimum, that's very important right there. Okay, what jobs aren't actually required? How many, how much, oh, we got way too much fruit and veg. Okay, uh, this is, this is fine actually. So, employees, no actually, uh, stop actually employing anyone. Uh-oh. I've just noticed there's quite a few corpses floating around, which I think might be due to, yes, the water has got dangerously low. And okay, this is, this is fine. This is fine. We can sort this out. Right, that's enough people freed up that the water facilities are now doing something. And more importantly, there will now be prison as a response for murder. Beautiful. Luckily, the raiders have not managed to do anything to me. Screw those guys. Hopefully they'll surrender at some point because, like, you know, they really flipping short. Okay, more flipping wells down over here. More water facilities over here. Water has managed to get back over the most dangerous low level, but it's still probably the biggest problem we face right now. Yeah, probably best we just keep throwing up that water. Also, how many people live here at this point? Oh, Lovely. Lovely. Up to 65% of total population. Back up to... Yeah, the population fell really quickly there. Probably because, yeah, people were literally dehydrating to death. Yes, that's quite possible. We're okay, and that means I can finally do that trip I wanted to do. Right, you, go and salvage over here. Just go and do that by yourself. I want to see what that plane contains, because that seems kind of awesome. The game will tell me when you get over there. But yeah, I imagine the... Here we go! The raiders are done for now. So, you stupid bastards, what's your demand on this occasion? You want me to change cannibalism to a short prison sentence? No. No, no, no. No, screw you. Alright? Cannibalism is too important to me. Now, what are we going to get out of that plane? Bunch of metal. Couple of bits of medicine. That's literally it. Okay, nothing too exciting, to be perfectly honest there. So just bring them back if you'd be so kind. 
and someone's doing some justice right now. That symbol means this person, in their little kind of military fatigues, yeah, they are officially my enforcers, and they're off to do some justice. But I think- oh, I think you might be the first person. Are you by any chance? Yes, I've imprisoned my first citizen for murder, which is 120 days. That's- that's a long prison sentence, apparently. For murder. 120 days. And they actually get to live in a house. Like, a third of our citizens don't get housing at all. This feels very backwards. And once again, raiders now can't do a thing to me. Flippin' marvellous. Now, how are we doing on- Ah, we're actually back to a good little surplus. So, at this point, we can start growing some more food. So, plenty of unemployed people. Unemployed people do have a high propensity to cause crime. So, getting them employed. Yeah, the raiders- The raiders now can't touch me. And we have got- Plentiful food right now. Yeah, plenty of spare butchered meat, plenty of spare fruit and veg. The water situation is not great, but it's improving. It's definitely improving. We've got more water infrastructure coming in. We've got ourselves probably enough to actually... Yeah, you know what? We can actually make sure everyone is satisfied because up to now we haven't had a church. So I would say, yeah, we can have a nice church round the back of the residential district. That's absolutely fine. You can just get on with building some of that. We probably do with a few more houses as well. Can we actually get another, another luxury? Oh, not quite. We haven't got quite enough masonry for that business. But I could get some nice tenements in. Some more tenements on this side of town. That's certainly true. I could get another two of them in, which will help out the housing situation. So we'll have... One of you there, and another one of you there. Lovely. So that is more housing there as well. Now someone needs to... Someone needs to work in the chapel, which I guess is... is fine. Oh, All right, Eliza Boy has just spotted a delicious corpse. I'm guessing that there is... Prisoner has died due to lack of food or drink. That's unfortunate in some ways, but they were a murderer. Literally the only way you end up in here is if you're a murderer, so... It's not the worst thing in the world. And the Raiders claim they're going to come back and teach me a lesson. I don't think they will. I think now I've got guard towers with four out of four weapons present. They will do literally nothing to me. So I'd say our town is, yeah, I've actually managed to stabilise this quite nicely. We've got plenty of water. For some reason, this prison has got itself low food and drink supplies, despite the fact there should be... Okay. There's plenty of water coming in, but it looks like it's being, yeah, it's being drunk as fast as it's actually making its way to the office. That's probably the problem there. It's just none of it's ever getting here long enough for the prison officers to come down and get it. The moment it arrives, someone shows up and drinks it. So we might need even more flipping, uh, yeah, some actual uh, water infrastructure. Like, there's some well water. It was there for a second, but someone immediately just grabbed it because quite a few people are thirsty. So, ah, in we come. There's actually enough. Oh, there's loads of water. There's flipping loads of water. Only some of it's committed at this point. So, hopefully that means we can actually sort out the prison situation. Though, there's no one in it, so it's fine. I think you get the point, ladies and gentlemen. This here is Atomic Society. And I will say, for what it is, which is, of course, an early access game that they've only just started showing to the public. It's a really, really solid foundation. It's not there yet, because right now, one, there's not enough in the way of choice. Ultimately, it's not like you're really choosing, like, which buildings to build or anything. Ultimately, you want to build one or rather several of literally everything. So, it's just a slow case of, in what order do you build what thing? So, it would be better if there was a little bit more in the way of, you know, buildings that were tied to particular decisions. For example, like, you know, if you actually decided to promote cannibalism, there was a special, like, butcher or something that was just for that sort of thing. And, you know, things like that. Things flipping like that. Also, I have been forgetting this whole time... Anytime I want to, I can actually, yeah, tell my town leader to actually go over here. But I believe you're allowed to inside this building. Once it's actually fully repaired up. Yes, here we go. Town belief systems. I would like to educate literally everyone to try and convert everyone to atomic cultists. And now I can just go to the info station and start loudly and obnoxiously preaching about atomic cultism, and slowly but surely, 
everyone will come round to my way of thinking. Vegetarianism, cannibalism, atomsism. Yes, there we go. That's that's what we believe in in this town. There's a lot I like here. I like how everything actually makes sense and how you can actually, like, you know, if you watch someone closely, people who work in the weaponsmiths, they live in a particular house. They walk to the house. Then they walk to the weaponsmith. They walk to the storage to get metal. They take it back to the weaponsmith. They produce weapons. They drop those off in the store. Everyone actually moves around intelligently, which is very, very cool indeed. There's a lot there that I really like. It is a really solid foundation. It could be something fun, and I've had fun with it, absolutely. I just think right now it's a little bit limited, because it feels like, yeah, what I've managed to do, and this is the second time I've played the game. I played it for like, you know, an hour or so just to get to grips with the basics before I did this. This is my second ever town, and it feels like I've now created a town that basically, now I can just say, screw you to the raiders, forever and make any decision I want because they don't pose any threat to me anymore and uh, yeah I've got plentiful food I have finally managed to get plentiful water in so I can just scavenge slowly as much as I want so I can just keep expanding so you know meeting the the goals that the game sets you to actually like have a completed settlement will now not be difficult at all 350 survivors fine we're almost there already uh, hope rating above 30% 19% so if I just built I assume this thing's full up at this point yeah, this thing's actually not quite. This thing is not actually quite full up. But uh, also food, drink and medicine supplies are low there. So we can do with just kind of filling this up a little bit more with some actual day-to-day -day supplies. So that's probably going to be fine in no time at all. And then enacting laws, well, that's just a matter of time passing. So, yeah, I've pretty much created, to my mind, like a perfect town. So it should be a little harder than that. I feel like, yeah, the raiders should pose more of a threat. It would be nice if the raiders were actually on the map and you could see the fighting happening. That would be very, very cool indeed. It would be cool if there were more buildings that were locked behind special gear, like that aeroplane that was way over there like it said batteries can be found there so like you know you need batteries in order to build a generator that does something 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 it feels like it could do with a bit more depth a bit more complexity but yeah as a foundation it's good and i still had fun with it so if you like your town builds you like your post apocalypse this might still be something you're interested in so link description below could still be of interest to you but i will say We'll see this again. I will play this again when it actually comes out of Early Access and when it's had a few patches, because with a bit of work, a bit more detail added, a bit more depth, a bit more challenge, this could be something special. This could be something very, very special indeed. So, one to watch, ladies and gentlemen. We will see it again. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd, and this has been Atomic Society. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.